Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placements. We will be reading on you today. I want to see any type of challenge that Spirit wants to talk about today. So let's go ahead because we could do all kinds of readings for you. And it's nice to get a little bit of a different vibe. Okay, but you guys spoil me so much. I in turn like to spoil you. So let's see. One more. Okay, you're in a very, very intense energy. Could be also creating um, a lot of substance in your reality. Let me see your challenge really quick, I'll tell you. Okay. Why is this Scorpio's challenge? I see. Okay, Scorpio, it looks as though you're in a place right now where you are ridding yourself of anything in your experience that has been causing you pain or has been causing you stagnancy. You're kind of integrating some old energies here. So Scorpio, I feel like there's a source of pain in your experience right now. And you're integrating it in order to transmute it or turn it into something that will work for your to your benefit. So this energy of pain and suffering can also be used to heal others, okay? To give others with this greater capacity to love a loving experience, a feeling of love here. Okay? You are very much so on this path very strongly, and it's like you could be attracting a lot of resources your way, because it does say this here. You're attracting a lot of people who believe in what you believe, who will fight for what you fight for, what you strive for. You have a voice, Scorpio. Um, you could be being called to use it. I don't know if you're into some sort of creative pursuit or if you are a voice in, in sort of some sort of community here. But what you have to say and share is important during this time. Here's what's up, okay? Because I'm seeing you have some real kind of like nasty energy here. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if this is a person. And I don't know um, where this is exactly coming from. But this looks like you... You have people or energies around you that just like talking crap. Because this is about speaking and there's, there's some people around you who have limiting beliefs or who have uh, a sense of jealousy or envy. People who have something to say that always like rains on your parade or something like that okay because we have this anger like people you're attracting a lot of people who need healing or a lot of people who have things to be angry about in their experience right now and i'm seeing that they're coming toward you with this energy and this is your challenge here okay i am also getting that you are needing to speak up. So if someone or something is doing stuff to you in your experience, especially with this red lady, it's like you're being challenged to speak about, you know, some sense of injustice or being challenged to speak about energies that are out of alignment so that you can then transmute it. So I feel like you're in a space of transmuting a lot, Scorpio. And here's the thing, because this anger that's being transmuted, 
it's putting you back in control. You're back in the driver's seat without letting this like take you down or pull you back too far. Your it says your prayers create possible channels of possibility. Uh, powerful channels, not possible channels. It's like everything that you say will come to life or your words have a lot of power. So you're in a space of manifestation because of this. Okay. So this is how I'm seeing your energy right now, Scorpio. Let's go ahead. What is this um, challenge here that Scorpio is referring to? Okay. Yeah. This is a source of pain and suffering here. The hangman perspective, Scorpio perspective. It's about your perspective, the way that you see something. It's almost as though you can allow something to ruin you or to keep you down. And of course in life, yes, we have ups and downs and you may be surprised by something and you need to take a little tap out and adjust your energy, but you're not letting it keep you there with this 10 of swords. This is about your perspective of when, you know, life comes towards you in this way and surprisingly so, how can I transmute this? I do see your perspective is very important here. What is this? The nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're turning your pain into a financial venture? <laughs> okay. Um, so you could be some sort of like advocate or you have some sort of like you could be a writer. You write about your experience and some sort of source of trauma here or like you just have this information to share here. I'm seeing that you can turn this into a venture, Scorpio. There's there's a lot of stability through this experience, these experiences with the Seven of Cups. Show me Scorpio here. Yeah, the Six of Swords, the Justice, Magician, Judgment. Okay. Emperor. You are the author of your own story here. This is true. So um, this healing journey here, there's a sense of justice that's going to be restored to you. You've become a different person. This is a Scorpio who has found their way to uh, an awakening or to enlightenment or to not staying down with this judgment energy. Okay. It's more so that you've become a different person. You've grown, you've expanded, and there's some type of a relationship that is coming into view here for you. Tell me about this. I'm seeing that there's you're very protective or guarded against this this relationship here. The 7 of pentacles. The 4 of wands, the emperor. There may be um an Aries here. Um Aries, Taurus, energy who's coming into your experience but you may feel this is some sort of a waste of time here or that you're not convinced there's something you're not convinced about you you feel this person's kind of like a flighty individual in and out kind of person tell us about this person okay gemini first house maybe this gemini sun moon rising we have the sun here yeah, this is somebody who you've seen as two different people. Maybe they come across as two different people. Like they're very divided in the way that they experience life. Like maybe on one hand, they want to be a specific person. On the other hand, they want the exact opposite. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? It's um, this person is, is not to you, at least the way that you experience this person, they haven't. Um, they don't stick with things in the way they experience them. They're very kind of all over the place or they're very divided within themselves here. Emotionally, mentally, physically, like it's like they always have 
a different way to see things. So you find this person to be kind of tricky, like you're tricky, like something like this, like you're tricky or you're kind of like, um, you always have something up your sleeve or there's something that's untrustworthy to you. Yeah, so first house, Venus and Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Or Venus, yeah. Because they're trying to come in to show you like a loving experience here. They could be trying to shower you with some sort of gifts to try and change the dynamic or attention or what have you. Okay. You make transformation look easy, Scorpio, and it's not. But people perceive you as, wow, how did you transform all of that? Or I had no idea that this has happened to you kind of energy. Like people may not know all the trials and tribulations here. Okay. What else does Scorpio need to know? Four of Wands. The Fool. Wow. Okay. You're leaping into a new experience in the coming period. We have the Seven of Swords here. You're untrusting. Okay. Um, I see that you're very calculated here because you have your eye on the prize. You have your eye on a goal of yours that's going to create more stability for you in your future. But this feels very scary because it's like you're branching out into an area of not knowing if you're going to land on solid ground once you take that leap here. Because some of you, you could be moving or you've kind of left a comfortable experience here with this baby chick, okay? It's like flying the nest or flying the coop, okay? It's like you're you're leaving a sense of comfort in order for you to grasp some sort of reward that you, you view as very important to you. This is like no risk, no reward kind of energy. So this is where you are dialed in. You're dialed into this star-like experience, something that will propel you into a higher mode of being and it feels as though you don't want to squander this and whoever's coming your way at this time it makes you feel kind of shaky okay because it's like i could be you know um it's almost like you don't feel you can have both like maybe you feel if someone comes in they're going to distract me or if someone shares this experience with me maybe i won't actually be the star i won't get to my star i won't you know yeah the three of swords and the ten of wands mm, emperor energy there's a lot of pain associated with this person this emperor person You're very careful around them. And when they come around, show me this star for Scorpio. Yeah, the six of wands. So you are about to reach some success here, Scorp. You are the empress, I'm telling you. This is an energy that you've been, you've been looking forward to. Yeah, you've been building this with the eight of pentacles here. Your experience will be supporting you in the coming period. I just feel that you have some trying energies around you during this time. And you're being extra careful because of not wanting to miss out on your opportunity for success and massive growth. What does Scorpio need to know about this person that keeps coming back in the background here? The five of wands too. Yeah, if you were wondering if it's the same thing, it is, okay? Um, you probably know this if, for what I'm reading for or who I'm reading for. You know that they are coming with the same kind of energy. Um, you do have the eight of wands, the two of pentacles and the five of wands here. They will come with the same kind of drama or the same kind of conflict. Okay? They will or they are coming like this. It's the same thing. 
even though they may say change or they claim change or they talk about this change, it's not, um, not very stable. I am seeing they are trying to work together with you on something like to find that equal footing, that equal ground. Yeah. It's like, they want you to believe again. It's like, believe. Okay. We can change this in the future. Like someone's trying to get you to change here or to give them space to change, you know, with you. Yeah. The son of pentacles. You may have someone here who is very much so in love with you. Um, we have water sign energy. Could be any water sign. Maybe Cancer, Aries, Virgo. There's someone who is very much so in love with you here. And wanting to be more important in your experience. This may be someone who wants to share love with you and share emotions with you. But it may feel that something else is lacking. Yeah, justice. There's an imbalance here. Who is coming towards Scorpio, please? Yeah. Virgo Cancer energy. There is someone coming in here. Oh, okay, maybe another Scorpio. This is your energy on the bottom of the deck. You have someone coming in here that is very supportive to you, is around you, will be around you, wants to stay around you. This is a supportive energy. Someone wants to be stable in your life, wants to be grounded in your life. This is someone who they could be like a friendly energy. Things move very, very slowly with this individual. This is something that would take quite a long time to flourish, maybe according to you. Okay. But what I'm seeing is that this is someone who feels like you guys can maintain a good relationship. Like you guys like the same things. You talk about the same things. This is a very, this is someone who's like, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So if someone wants to stay in your experience, the world, the daughter of swords. There's also someone who wants to know, um, wow, this could be Virgo or cancer. Yeah. This person is trying to see, um, if it's true that you don't want this experience or why you're being so private or why are you kind of like turned away from this experience here? Because something is not satisfactory. It's not perfect, Scorpio. You feel this is not perfect. I don't want it. So Scorpio is trying to create only perfection. This may be something to reflect upon. Okay. Scorpio's standards are very high here. Mm. And that's, of course, up to you, but I am seeing this. Love you so very much, Scorpio. Feel free to check previous future reads for more different information. Friends, family members, neighbors, corkers, peep and tom, peep and tom, and on the street, check their place and see so we know what everybody's up to. Kisses. I love you. Bye.